Titus Benjamin with Texas Micro Center. Do you need help identifying the parts of your computer, both the inside and outside components? Well, we can help you out. Let's get started. So here we have the back of the typical desktop computer. Here in a moment, we'll take a closer look at its connections. Here we have a close-up view of the Universal Serial Bus Connections, or USB connections. This is what they look like. And you plug your USB keyboard or mouse or webcam or any other device into these connections. They are not specific. You can plug your keyboard into any one of them. Now one of these connectors right here is a different shape. It has the connection. This is a firewire connection. This is for a completely different device, <clears throat> faster connection. Firewire is 800 megabits data transfer speed, typical USB 2.0, which is what these are. Connection is 400, 480 megabits per second data transfer speed. Now we're going to take a look at a s other connections on the back of this computer. As you can see, we have two more USB, and here we have an Ethernet port. We're plugging in your internet connection. Now if we go just a little bit further down, here we have the audio jacks. Microphone, headphone, line in. Most people will use the microphone and the headphone. Now if we go a little bit further down, here we have the video connections. First video connection is a DVI. Second, HDMI. This is what you see mostly on your TVs. DVI is digital video. HDMI is digital video and audio. DVI and HDMI carry the same video signal. It's just HDMI has audio with it. Lastly, we have VGA, an older video connection. And on this computer, if we go down a little bit further, we will see several more firewire connections. And lastly, we see the power connection on this computer. Now that covers all of the ports and connectors on the back of your computer. Let's take a look at the front. Now here to show the difference between how different computer cases can look, we have two of them. Case on the left, typical power spec computer case on the right. On the left, as you can see, there's not much in the front other than, we zoom in, the DVD drive or optical drive. All the front buttons are hidden on the top of that case. In contrast, if we look at the power spec computer, it has the DVD drive slash optical drive. And if we scoot down here a bit, we see the SD card reader. Even further down, And we have two front USB ports, a microphone jack on the left, and a headphone jack on the right. We also have power on and off button and reset button. Now we'll take a look at the case on the other, the left hand side to see its connections on the top. Here we have the case on the left, the top view. We have the on off button, universal on off symbol right here, reset, 
headphone, microphone, and this little fork symbol is a symbol for the USB connections, one, two, three, and four, on the top of the case. As you can see, the differences between the two computers is that this case has everything on top for easy access. This case is meant to be on the ground. The other computer has everything in the front, which would mean it would be better to have that on top of a desk for easier access. So there you have the front and back connections on a typical desktop computer. Thank you for watching.